together. That's not who you are. If you can hear me, say amen. amen. So you need to understand that every one of us in here, regardless of what you experience or what you're going through now, you are born with an eternal purpose. You might not be able to see it right now. You might not be connected right now. But I, in the name of Jesus, if you're on this earth and you're in church, it means that God chose you. And if he chose you, he always gives an eternal purpose to everyone he chooses. There's no way that God is birthed to choose without something that he placed in you to give back to the world. Am I in the right church? Yes. If you can hear me, say amen. amen. Do you believe that you're special? Do you believe that in spite of who you're married to, and in spite of who you're going with, and in spite of what's going on, that God chose you, put a mark on you, and before his eyes, you are very, very, very significant? Amen. You may be broke, but you're still special. Amen. You may be in lack, but you're still special. Amen. You may not have a college education, but you are still special. Amen. You may have some mental issues, some emotional issues, but you're still special. Glory to God. God, no, oh, you are special. Why? Because he chose you. What we did for no. He also did predestinate. What we did predestinate, he also did call. So if you're sitting here right now, you gotta get this to go where I'm going. You are special. You are not by happenstance. Your life is not a waste. You may not understand it right now, but God is preparing you for a certain time in your life where he's gonna try your faith. Come on now. We have been on this eternal journey. For any one of us who's gonna walk and see, here's what I have to learn. Just because God chose you and gave you a destiny, it does not mean you are walking it. Amen. Just because God chose you and gave you an eternal destiny. If you don't connect yourself to it, it is not automatic that you are walking in it. Yeah. My God. There are so many ways to test this around us. Because we don't understand what is required to walk in it. This is not coming over good. Everybody wants to shout. Everything is predestined. Yes, it is. But it requires your faith to walk in it. Amen. You listen. It's going to come a time in your life where God is going to put you in a position concerning the assignment that he's given you where you're going to have to exercise some faith at some critical moments for you to be able to walk in your eternal purpose. And if you, if you choose not to obey him at those critical moments, chances are, if they might come around again, but chances are you may never get to walk in that destiny. This is not a good message for the group of people this morning. Anybody can hear me say amen. amen. I don't want to lie to you this morning. I don't want everybody, I don't want you to have me shouting, believe that you don't, but you don't have to participate in your life. Because God sent you a destiny, but he gave you a pattern to get into it. Amen. And listen, and, 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 and I use Moses, and when you go home, you can read um, Exodus chapter 2. I'm going to tell you the story of Moses. Moses had a destiny to deliver the people of Israel out of Egypt. That was his purpose for being born. Do you agree with that? He was born under the purpose of delivering the people of Egypt out of Israel. That's what God put him on earth for. That was his final destiny in life. That was his divine purpose to go back to Pharaoh to let these people go and, and watch God glorify himself through him. But that was his divine purpose. But there was a lot of stuff that happened before he got there. Preach it, God, we know. Gentlemen, I'll take a deep breath this morning. I want you to walk with me this morning. Because since God chose you from the time that you were born, he had been preparing you to get to a defining place where it's going to be determined whether or not you will fulfill your destiny. This is too good. This is the kind of message that makes you lose members because it makes you responsible for your, for your mission. It makes you responsible for obeying God. When God gives you an eternal destiny, you're going to come to the place where he's going to try your faith. It's a defining moment for your good and for him to see whether you believe him or not. And when you get to that moment, glory to God, if you're not willing to go outside of yourself Amen. and go against your will Amen. and against your understanding, you are failing the test. And the thing that's before you may never manifest because you will never be prepared for it. Wow. Yes. 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 Hey, can I, can I walk with Moses if you 
stood with me and said, Amen. Can I, can I walk out with Moses? I want you to win. Somebody say, I'm going to win. Somebody say, I'm going to win. I want you to win. You know that what you've been doing is not working. You know that dancing and speaking in tongues is not working. You know, coming to church half the time and halfway in church is not working. There's something that you and I have to learn about walking in destiny. Every one of us, for every big thing God's going to do, Mr. Cotton, we're going to have a defining moment where God's going to try our faith to see if he can trust us to believe in him. Let me walk it through Moses. See, because some of you are here right now, because you knew the church, you think that everything stops when you got to church. No. Coming to church was your connection to the eternal purpose. But God has been preparing you before you even knew he was called. Can I teach this here? In the case of Moses, through deceptions and lies, he preserved him. When Moses was born, Pharaoh had made a decree that every boy that was born in, in, in Israel was supposed to be put to death. Y'all know the story? Read um, chapter 2 of Exodus. But, he, through deception, he was kept alive. Now walk with me. This is the deliverer of God's people who was ordained to do this before the foundations of the world. Now, the, the church folk would already rejected him because he was born on the other side of the track. Somebody say amen. When Pharaoh told him the midwives of Israel, kill every baby, every male child that comes to the womb, and when he found out that he wasn't doing it, he asked them, why are you only killing these boys? They laughed him and told him, the, 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 the Hebrew women are different from the Egyptian women. They have the baby so fast that they couldn't kill them. You know how to be stupid to believe that. So boys say amen. But that's what they told him. A deception kept Moses alive. A lie. All the while, nobody had a clue that God was going to use him to deliver Israel. Y'all understand with me? Nobody had a clue. But his mother said, he's, look, he's a nice child. She built a little ark, a little boat, and put him in a boat, put him on the river for Pharaoh's daughter to find him. And they didn't have no clue who he was or what he was going to do. People were just fulfilling, this is good, you know. People were just fulfilling an eternal purpose that God's already ordained. He was using everybody along the way to make sure that Moses got to a place that he appointed for him before the foundations of the world. That's why you got to understand. Since that you are chosen of God, everything that happens in your life and all the people that he uses, they have been ordained. They, oh, glory to God. They're not going to do it the way you want to. You're not going to understand it, but everything has already been ordained to get you to a certain place. I'm preaching good. I don't know if you're again, but I'm preaching really good. You have to receive this because when you're having faith for eternal destiny, you got you have to know that God's in control. Yes, yes. You have to accept the fact. As much dope as I smoke, He was with me. It was a day to make me who I am today. Yes. All the times I've been to jail, it was a day. It wasn't by happenstance. My family couldn't understand it because my family is pious. They couldn't understand why their siblings going to jail. Yeah. 